Hello friends, welcome you all. In last lecture, we had discussed the partial safety factors, then partial safety factor for material strength, partial safety factor for load, and lastly, the different types of loads which are act on the RCC structure. That is dead load, live load, wind load, snow load, and lastly, earthquake load. Now, in this lecture, we are going to discuss the limit state of collapse fracture assumptions okay different assumptions we have to taken into consideration while designing the flexural member so what are those assumptions let us see first first assumption is plane section normal to the axis remain plane after bending means the assumptions ensures that the cross section of the member does not work due to the applied loads okay so it further means that the strain at any point on the cross section is directly proportional to its distance from the neutral axis okay that is uh, it means the strain is uniform in a compression zone as well as in tension zone okay so next assumption is the Maximum strain in concrete at the outermost compression fiber is taken as 0.0035 in bending. This is clearly defined or defined limiting strain of concrete in bending compression beyond which concrete will be taken as reaching the state of collapse. Okay, so it is very clear that the specified limiting strain of 0.035 does not depend on the strength of concrete or we can say in simple words the maximum strain in concrete we are taken into compression is 0.0035 that is it is limiting or permissible strain okay which are allowed in a concrete okay next is the tensile strength of concrete is ignored okay so it means concrete has some tensile strength okay uh, but very small but not zero okay so at this tensile strength is ignored and the stress reinforcement is assumed to resist the tensile stress however the tensile strength of concrete is taken into account to check the deflection and crack widths in the limit state of serviceability. So the we are totally ignored this tensile strength of concrete. Okay, that is all the tensile stresses are taken by the uh, bars which are provided into the concrete. That is reinforcement. Next is the stress the relationship between the stress strain distribution in concrete is assumed to be a parabolic okay here we can see the this uh, stress strain relationship is assumed to be a parabolic okay so uh, what it mean okay the maximum compressive strain curve in the structure is obtained by reducing this value of uh, top parabolic curve in two stages that is first divided Mm, uh, dividing by 1.5 due to the size effect and secondly it again divided by the 1.5 considering the partial safety factors of the material so this middle and bottom this middle and bottom curves represent these stages okay this is second stage and so this is first stage and this, this is second stage okay so the max thus the maximum compressive stress in bending is limited to the constant value of 0.0446 fck okay for the strain ranging from 0.002 to 0.0035 okay so this is the stress term relation between the or relation between the stress term distribution okay so Firstly, it is assumed to be a parabolic up to a 0.002 strain and it is then a constant stress and strain is uh, limited up to a 0.0035. So, next assumption is 
the stresses in the reinforcement are taken from the stress strain curve for the type of steel used for design purposes the partial safety factor that is gamma m okay, equal to 1.15 shall be applied okay so here we can see this is the characteristic curve that is for steel okay if i mean steel and this is the design curve for the, this design curve we are taken the partial safety factor that is 1.15 for steel okay that is fy upon 1.15 so this value is 0 0.87 fy okay so or uh, we can say the in the reinforced concrete structures two types of steel are generally used that is mild steel and high yield strength bars okay so high yield def high yield strength deform bar okay so these uh, first this mild steel uh, have a definite yield point okay but these uh, hysd bar uh, does not have any definite any definite uh, yield point okay so we are taken uh, we have to taken in for that purpose the proof stress so for uh, steel we are taking the partial safety factor is 1.15 for design purpose so next is the maximum strain in the tension reinforcement in the section at failure shall not be less than fy upon 1.15 es plus 0 0.002 where fy is the characteristic strength of steel and es that is capital es that is modulus of elasticity of steel okay so these assumptions ensures the ductile failure in which the tensile reinforcement undergoes a certain degree of inelastic deformation before concrete fails in a compression so these all are the assumptions we have to taken into account while designing the flexural member okay so next point is the stress strain block diagram for the singly reinforced section from these uh, assumptions of flexural member that is limit state of collapse in flexural member we are we can draw this uh, stress strain block diagram for the singly reinforced section so this is the section concrete section or rcc section okay steel is provided at bottom okay this is neutral axis of this section okay this d represent the effective depth okay which is taken by from top fiber to the uh, center of the uh, reinforcement okay b is the width of this section okay a steam is the reinforcement this is the rcc section and this first is the strain diagram okay and this is stress diagram in strain diagram okay as we uh, we are seeing earlier that is uh, first assumption that is plane section uh, remain plane before and after bending suppose this is the uh, section okay and the uh, strain okay at the top and bottom okay is uniform from this point okay so suppose this is the uh, plane before bending okay and after bending that is this strain it may be inclined one okay but it is straight okay remain plane okay so this is first assumption okay that is uniform this is the uh, epsilon c u represent the maximum compressive strain okay and this is the maximum compressive sorry maximum tensile strain okay so this maximum compressive strain we know that is 0 0.0035 okay and this is point where the strain is 0 0.002 okay up to which the stress is parabolic in curve okay and then the it is constant okay and the stress at uh, maximum stress uh, allowed is uh, 0 0.446 fck that is 0 0.45 fck that is design design uh, compressive strength we can say okay so this is uh, compressive st uh, stresses act at this point okay so this distance is 0.42 xu xu means what it is the neutral axis distance from top fiber okay which is represented by xu okay and 
this is the tensile stresses act at the reinforcement that is tu okay zu is the lever arm okay so this is the stress strain block diagram for this is stress strain diagram and this is the stress block diagram for the singly reinforced section hope you will understand today's uh, session thank you